Joining us on this edition of the Open Alliance Show, it's 6328 Mechanical Advantage from Massachusetts. This team, off two years in a row of appearing on Einstein with their division victories and looking to have another phenomenal season this year as well, too. Mechanical Advantage will be going through what they've done from kickoff strategy, design, and implementation, but diving in a lot into their different shooter prototypes and what they've been using, talking about their successes, changes we've been making, and wow, the speed of this shooter that they have right now is absolutely insane. We're also going to dive a bit more into what they're looking at doing for Autonomous and their custom scouting app coming up here on the Open Alliance Show. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. And welcome into the Open Alliance Show 6328 Mechanical Advantage, uh, one of our uh, original teams on the Open Alliance, an incredible feature team that we have. Uh, we're going to be talking about so much today going into their kickoff routine. we got some prototypes we're going to be talking about uh, and some different videos sharing on screen, including uh, stuff with software and scouting as well, too. So I'm so excited to have you all on. Uh, students, if you don't mind, can you introduce yourselves and let us know what you do on the team? Hello, my name is Manthan. I do software scouting and business. Uh, I'm Advaith, I do CAD mechanical and business. Uh, I'm Matthew, I'm the CAD lead, and I do mechanical and manufacturing. Well, let's, let's jump right in and welcome. We're so excited to have you uh, back on again uh, this year. Let's talk about kickoff routine. How are you approaching the Crescendo game? And uh, uh, let us know what's been going on with that. And like I said, we'll be rolling into some prototypes then afterwards. Yeah, so I'll start off talking about what we did on kickoff. So after watching the kickoff stream, we broke the entire team into smaller groups. Um, and so people could get some questions answered about the game. And then uh, we all took the 1678 rules test once that was released um, and made sure everyone on the team um, had a really good understanding of, of all the rules so we could all be productive um, members of strategy discussion. Um, so then in those same groups, we filled out a kickoff worksheet. Also just making sure everyone understands the rules, the different field elements, special zones, um, so we could get uh, get really pr uh, productive discussion around our strategy the next day. So at that point, um, again, in smaller groups, we made priorities on what kinds of tasks we want to accomplish on the field, what our highest priorities are, um, and some rough sketches on archetypes and certain subsystems. And so based off these priorities, we decided which kinds of prototypes we wanted to move on with. Yeah, so from there, we kind of figured on two major things and that is uh, shooters and intakes. So for shooters, we have a, a linear uh, shooter, and then we have a, a C-shaped radial shooter, and then we have a top and bottom roller shooter. So I'll start off with the, the linear side shooter. So the linear sh side shooter is two four-inch wheels uh, powered by uh, Neo Vortexes. So uh, with this, we did some testing. So we, we characterized it on a graph, so on, we would shoot it at a wall on a graph, and then we'd plot these data points to get accurate shooter data. So then we were able to test multiple variables. And then along with that, we have the, the C-shaped shooter, which I think can talk a little bit about. Yeah, so we tried out a radial shooter, and the advantages to that is a flywheel would be contacting the note for longer than it would be on a linear type shooter. Um, just we decided to phase that out pretty quickly, though, just because of its large footprint and we didn't think it would fit with our goals of having a pretty small robot this year. Um, so I'll start talking about the horizontal roller shooter with the top and bottom rollers. Uh, so we first tried that with like a rubber kind of roller and it was geared pretty um, with a high gear ratio. Uh, it didn't really shoot the way we wanted, but um, this video here is our next iteration with four inch wheels, four inch stealth, stealth wheels um, on a one to two ratio. So it was actually geared up and it was shooting pretty well, but super fast and probably overkill so today we brought that back down to a one-to-one -one and it's shooting a little better did you all clock that uh, by the way like what speed was that going at uh i think it was something like 12k rpm wow 
Both of us that aren't on orange reels. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's that's just nothing. And something uh, I want to ask you is I, when I see this shot, and I'm not sure if it's because of frame rate or what it is, but at the end, it almost seems like that note really turns a lot and kind of just forces itself into uh, the speaker. Yeah. Is, is that is that the case, or is that just kind of an optical illusion that we're seeing? Yeah, it was kind of hitting the speaker flat and then forcing its way in. Um, so that's how, kind of what we found about being a bit too overkill. It was it was shooting a bit too fast and it wasn't really going straight. So it's looking better now with the one to one ratio, though. Very cool. Um, and, and, and we from, have a yeah, we we have a one neo driving each shaft too, which is causing them to be pretty fast. That's really really cool. And looking at uh, some of the other. Uh, uh, testing that you've done for things um when you were looking at the game like walk me through just some of the uh general strategy behind it like did you say like hey we want to be able to shoot from practically anywhere on the field or like what were kind of your high priorities looking at the crescendo game itself yeah well so you really only can shoot from within your wing so we basically wanted to just achieve that so the testing we in the video you just showed that testing was at the very edge of the wing so like the farthest you could possibly shoot um but yeah, within the wing, we do aim to be shooting wherever, um, just so we can have versatile autos and just normal tele off as well. Uh, and then from prototyping, where else, uh, where else uh, or what else have you been working on? Uh, anything in regards to like your intakes that you want to talk about or share at all? Yep. Yeah. So for intakes, we uh, we had one initially, and that was it was a uh, it was a ramp one. So we'd have a bottom polycarb drooped over a, a bumper, and then we had top rollers. So uh, after some initial testing, we really ruled it out quickly because of just how slow it is. And we really figured out that we needed a bottom roller. So from there, we were inspired by uh, 3847 Spectrum and their intake and their multiple roller intake, allowing us to also be able to score in the amp as well with it. So we did some initial testing on that and we have some good results and we're making it a uh, version two right now. One thing I just want to go back on real quick and talk about, your team has had a couple phenomenal years coming out of COVID, right? Winning divisions uh, each of the last two years uh, as well, too. Has that has that changed, like, how your team is approaching uh, strategy or approaching the game? Or has everything really stayed the same and that your performance has really not changed your general ethos of a team and how you're approaching things? Um, we haven't really changed too much. We've always had um, lofty goals, and we've always driven to be um, – big competitors so just our success hasn't really changed our strategy going into each season very much yeah fair enough on that let's talk a little about uh, uh software and scouting as well too uh software wise and then we got a bunch of things that we want to share on screen for that but uh walk us through uh how you're approaching uh software both at autonomous and anything from the teleop side as well too that you want to dive into uh yeah so we can start out with scouting first so uh during week two or day two of kickoff the scouting team got together and uh, drafted some rough sketches of what we wanted the app to look like this year, what we wanted to scout. And so we can start off with um, this game, right? Uh, this, this page right here, this is the ratings page. So this is where the drivers can, um, or the, the scouts can rank, rate the drivers based on their driving ability or the robot based on their note-taking ability and then adding comments. And we can actually go to the pre-match config. This page just shows where the robot starts. Um, right right before auto and uh yeah we can hear there's a there's a red alliance and the blue alliance and um you can see the team team name right there and then we can switch to the auto page this is where uh, we track what the robot does during auto so where we really wanted to track which uh, game piece they get both from the center line and from the spike spike marks we have that there and we're playing around with some icons here as well and then moving on to Telly, this looks really similar to our auto page. However, now we have the trap included, and it was a we had we had some conversations conversations about what we wanted to include and what we didn't want to, wanted to we didn't want to include in this app. And this this is pretty much after one week, right after um, kickoff of development. And this is large. We were able to make this this much progress, largely largely in part by bringing over old components from previous games. And so then that kind of so with that with the strategy there we can with the strategy that we get from um our scouting app we can then move on to autos uh we i think our we've we've been playing around with a lot of autos i think our best one is so far is our six note auto that we've been working on this is made using a tool named choreo it's similar to path planner which generates trajectories and you can see here 
Robot starts off, goes to the center line, bang, shoots, takes another note, bang, shoots, and uh, goes, to, goes to the center line. Uh, we will, we're hoping to test this out later this week. So six note auto, let's talk about that a little bit uh, on here. Yeah. So we've we've seen uh, you mentioned Citrus before. We've seen the five note auto from Citrus, uh, or at least some sort of a five note auto uh, from those. Well, yeah. what made you uh, aspire to want to go with a six note? And uh, even more so, have you found that that is a realistic thing for you to go with? So you may not know, but we recently stole David Powers <laughs> from uh, Team Sixteen Seventy Eight. And as a alumni mentor of that team, he's really, he's, he aspires to be just a little bit better than them. So he really pushed us to make a six note auto and oh, we'll be testing this out later this week. Never heard really. of him, but I'm sure he's a great mentor. So, uh, so yeah. just kidding. David, I'm way back. So, um, so yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to, uh, you know, getting that testing out. Uh, by the way, if teams want to see what 6320 is doing, make sure you do follow their uh, Open Alliance blog on Chief Delphi uh, as well, too. It's a great spot. And one of the things I'll compliment your team for is you make some of the best videos as well, too. So make sure you check out their YouTube page uh, for all the videos. Uh, I noticed a few days ago, there's some great videos uh, even on how to market your team and, and follow that as aspect as well too so give a lot of kudos to your team for uh, all the uh, great work not just with the robot but beyond as well too and speaking about beyond what are the next few weeks going to look like what are some of your immediate uh aspects that you want to get done uh tomorrow next week uh into the next time that we're going to see you in a couple weeks so yeah our media team has been all around the shop during prototyping and kickoff we're just trying to get as much video content as possible and our media team we we actually had training over the summer uh, where uh, all of our new students uh, learned about how our team records and edits video, and so you'll see that in, in work, you'll see that put to work in the coming in the following weeks, and you'll also see us at the practice field testing out our autos, testing out new designs. So be on the lookout for that. Very cool. And then uh, anything else uh, that you want to give for that you've learned from like uh, the Crescendo game so far that when you look at like uh, advice to other teams that are like, hey, these are some really big things that we've discovered that we really want to make sure that teams are aware of uh, either things pulling from your OA blog currently or just things you personally uh, want to share. Um, one thing we've noticed a lot of uh, discussion around is the trap and how it's a super, super hard um, uh it's a super, super hard goal to achieve, um, but we're driven to get that done. Um, there's a bunch of ideas floating around. Um, we have a couple ideas too, um, both from other OA teams and just general discussion. Um, so we think that's gonna be a fun challenge. Can you elaborate a little bit more? What are maybe one of the examples that you're looking at doing? Uh, so we saw both Spectrum and Rembrandt's tested out uh, like an AMP score that we think would also work pretty well on a trap. Very cool. Well, Mechanical Advantage, thank you so much for uh, hopping on. We're so excited to see your progress through the build season. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to look too far in the future, but I'm sure we're excited to see your performance throughout the entire competition season as well, too. So good luck. Uh, we'll see them back here in just a few weeks as well, too. And, and can't wait to see how you do. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.